Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you all are doing well today. My name is Elliot and welcome back to The Fragrance Well. Today's topic of discussion is going to be scents that are made for that of a gentleman. That's right, gentlemanly scents, classy, elegant, refined. These are some of the elements that I think make a good, well-rounded scent for that of a gentleman. And we've got scents here that are good for a variety of occasions. It doesn't necessarily always have to be a situation where, say you're wearing a suit and tie, it doesn't always have to be formal, it doesn't always have to be professional, but you can still come off as a gentleman in any situation, and I think your fragrance can help you to do that. We're gonna talk about them right now. Okay, so keep in mind to come off as a gentleman, it can't just be the fragrance. You need to look the part. You need to be dressed well. You need to think about how you present yourself to the public. That is how you come off as a gentleman, when you come off looking clean and well put together. You can't go out just wearing a t-shirt and some shorts and, and, and whatever color combination, hair all messed up, face not washed, you know, you're not coming off clean. You're not gonna come across as a, as a gentleman if you present yourself that way to the public. If you don't know what that really looks like, Google is at your disposal. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get it started. From the house of Christian Dior, this is Dior Homme, the 2020 release. Dior Homme 2020 release. I will say that any iteration of Dior Homme, the older iris ones, the Dior Homme Intent and the Parfum, and this one, even the sport fragrance, will help you come off as a gentleman. But what I like about this one is this is anytime, anywhere gentleman fragrance. You can dress this one up, you can dress it down. It will work for all of those occasions. Some of the featured notes in this are pink pepper, LME resin, atlas cedar, patchouli, vetiver, and musk. This fragrance is bright, it's fresh, it's clean, it's woody, it is so refined and easy to wear. It's somewhat simple, but simple does not mean it is not a gentleman's fragrance. Once again, from the house of Christian Dior, this is Dior Homme 2020. Next up, coming from the house of Narciso Rodriguez, this is For Him Blue Noir Parfum. Narciso Rodriguez For Him Blue Noir Parfum. This one too is anytime gentleman's fragrance. You can wear this one during the day, during the evening. It can be more casual. It can be dressed up as well. This one here does feature iris, so it is powdery, it is sweet, it has notes like leather and suede to give it a more of a masculine edge. Features notes like cardamom, bergamot, cypress, iris, musk, suede, leather, and tonka bean. A very classy iris fragrance. Because of the versatility that it has, it can be dressed up or dressed down, as I said before. This one is also fairly simple. It doesn't go through a whole lot of changes throughout the life of the fragrance, but as I mentioned with the last one, it doesn't have to be complex to work for a gentleman. So once again, from the house of Narciso Rodriguez, this is For Him Blue Noir Parfum. All right, moving on. Next one's coming from the house of Cartier. This is Pasha de Cartier, the Parfum Concentration. Pasha de Cartier, the Parfum Concentration. So this is a more modern, slightly dressed down take on the classic Pasha de Cartier that is a aromatic fougere barbershop style fragrance. This one adds a lot of booziness to it. It adds a lot of resin, so it's much more sticky, kind of sweet version of the Pasha de Cartier fragrance, but it is still a gentleman's fragrance. Some of the notes featured in this are gonna be sandalwood, balsamic notes, amber and patchouli, and some boozy accords as well. So this one here is the evening wear for the gentleman. This one you dress down a little bit, you can dress it up as well, but it's going to be primarily for evening style events. I wouldn't necessarily wear this to work because of that boozy nature to it. You don't wanna show up to work smelling like booze. Like I said, it is a little bit more playful, but it is still refined and elegant. So it's not a fun night fragrance. It is just a little bit more playful than say the original Pache de Cartier where you just have that classic gentlemanly barbershop, fresh, clean, citrus heavy style of fragrance. Definitely one of my favorites in my collection. Once again, this is Pasha de Cartier Parfum Concentration. All right, and the next one's coming from the house of Marc Antoine Barras. This is Ganymede. Marc Antoine Barras Ganymede. Personal favorite of mine. I absolutely love this fragrance, and I think it can be a lot of things, including a gentleman's scent because of 
how classy and elegant it is and how also unique it is. Wear it to work during the day, wear it to an evening occasion, wear it to a casual evening occasion, dress it up, dress it down, this one will work. You're gonna get mineral notes from this, you're gonna get saffron, you're gonna get osmanthus, violet, akigala wood, and immortel as well. It has spiciness to it, it has a leatheriness to it, it has mineral notes like I said before, and it is also an underlying sweetness similar to that of what I would call a candied bitter orange kind of feel. Not everybody loves this fragrance, but in my opinion, this is a head turner and it'll definitely work for really any situation in my opinion, but certainly for that of a gentleman. So once again, this is Marc Antoine Barras, Ganymede. Moving right along, next one's coming from the house of Bentley. This is Bentley for Men Intense. Bentley for Men Intense, kind of a polarizing fragrance, but this one to me is definitely made for a gentleman. It's spicy, it's woody, a touch boozy and it also has some leathery tones to it. This is definitely evening wear for the gentleman. Doesn't necessarily have to be suit and tie, but you do need to dress this one up a little bit for it to come off that way. Some of the featured notes in this are black pepper, frankincense, leather, clary sage, patchouli, and sandalwood. A very refined, grown up and sophisticated fragrance. That's probably part of the reason why it's so polarizing, but I love this scent. I loved it at first sniff. From the house of Bentley, Bentley for men intense. Okay, so this next one, I would be surprised if there were any detractors in agreeing with me that this is one of the best gentlemanly scents you can have, especially for the office and especially if you are dressing up. From the house of Amwaj, Reflection Man. Amwaj Reflection Man. This scent is class in a bottle. It's floral, it's sweet, but it is not loud. It is refined. And in my opinion, it's one of the best gentlemanly, classy scents on this list. Some of the featured notes are bitter orange leaf, rosemary, neroli, jasmine, and sandalwood. Beautiful white florals in this fragrance. It's very clean. It's not necessarily soapy, but it just carries an air of cleanliness to it, as well as elegance. And I gotta say, if you're a boss in any kind of a way, this is a boss man scent. Yeah, that's right. No denying that this is a gentleman's fragrance. Once again, Reflection Man from the house of Amwage. All right, so I don't think I would have this list be complete if I did not feature vetiver in some shape or fashion. But instead of a daytime kind of office cleanly vetiver scent, we're gonna go for the evening wear. This is from the house of Lalique, Encre Noir à l'Extreme. Encre Noir à l'Extreme. If you have any familiar, uh, familiarity with the original Encre Noir where you had that grassy, earthy vetiver, this one is still that, but it's freshened up just a little bit by adding iris, smoothed out rather, smoothed out a little bit by adding iris, and it adds benzoin as well and adds a very resinous sweetness to it, almost like tree sap in my opinion. Like the original, it features cypress, it has vetiver of many forms, but also has incense and iris and benzoin and patchouli. Because of that added resinous sweetness to this fragrance, this to me is the evening wear for the gentleman if you want to feature vetiver in some shape or fashion. Dressed up or dressed down, this will work. I think this is a really good kind of cocktail party kind of fragrance where you're definitely dressing up a little bit. So yeah, this one I think is really good for the evening wear for the gentleman. Once again, Alex Trim Encre Noir from the House of Lalique. All right, and moving on. So the next one's coming from the house of Carolina Herrera. This is CH Men Passion. CH Men Passion. This is the latest release from the house of Carolina Herrera in the CH Men line. This one also features some iris. Uh, it's more powdery than anything. It's also very spicy and very woody. I love how the woods come across in this. That's what makes this fragrance super elegant and classy for me. I do think this one can work as a daytime fragrance, but I do think it's gonna shine in a more casual situation where you're slightly dressing up. It can be dressed up all the way, but you know, it can be more casual too. Some of the featured notes in this are frankincense, iris, myrrh, and bourbon vanilla. There is a little bit of sweetness to this fragrance too, but it's not cloyingly sweet. It is a smooth sweetness, which is what makes this one so elegant. Once again, CH Men Passion from Carolina Herrera. All right, moving on. So this next fragrance, in my opinion, is Dress It Up for the Evening Formal Occasion from the house of Givenchy. Gentlemen, Eau de Parfum. Gentlemen, Eau de Parfum. Also an iris fragrance. This is powdery and sweet and elegance in a bottle. Very classy fragrance. You cannot play around with this one, in my opinion. 
Some of the notes you're gonna get from this are lavender, black pepper, tolu balm, iris, vanilla, and patchouli. This is that makeup-y iris, but it is sweet, it is rich, and it is just class in a bottle. I mean, I'm talking black tie with this fragrance. I mean, look at the bottle. Black tie, it's telling you right here what this was made for right on the front of it. That being said, it can be used for other stuff as well, but I think this fragrance absolutely would shine for a formal event in the evening. And if you wanna come across as a gentleman, you'll get it done with this fragrance right here once again. Gentlemen Eau de Parfum from the house of Givenchy. Okay guys, and we're on to the last one. Who says dressing like a gentleman cannot be sexy? Well, I'll tell you what fragrance says you can be sexy while dressing like a gentleman. From the house of Roja Parfums, this is Danger Pour Homme. Particularly the Parfum concentration does come in a Parfum Cologne concentration as well. This one right here, Spices and Woods. Comes across a little bit powdery and there's a lot of lavender in the opening, but this fragrance is sophisticated, elegant, and very, very sexy. Man, I'm telling you, this one's not talked about as much as some of the others in that kind of poor own line from the Roja fragrances, but this one right here gets the job done. In addition to that lavender, you're also gonna get some lemon and a little bit of bergamot. You're gonna get some jasmine. There's patchouli, tonka bean, woody notes, leather, clove, cumin, and vetiver. This one right here, you gotta dress it up. You cannot play around with this. This will not work in just regular street clothes. It's gonna smell great, but it's just gonna be confusing to someone who just sees you in like a baseball cap or something like that. You gotta dress this up. You can do it casually too, but it's gotta be a button down shirt at least, button down collared shirt. But this is the gentleman's date night fragrance when he wants to be very, very sexy with his scent profile. Trust me on this one, it will work. Uh, once again, from the house of Roja Parfums, danger, Parfum Pour Homme. All right, guys, that's it. 10 gentlemanly fragrances. Dress them up, dress them down. These fragrances will get that done if you wanna come across as a gentleman with your scent profile. Thanks for hanging out with me until the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if you think someone will like this content. I'll see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Will. Have a great day.